In this video, I want to walk you through step by step all the best settings that you need to have in order to connect your Etsy account with your Printifier account the right way. The best thing that can happen to your Etsy business is when you connect your Printifier account to your Etsy account the right way. You do it the right way, you are going to automate everything in such a way that when a customer buys your product on Etsy, this product will immediately be routed to Printifier and Printifier is going to print this product and ship it directly to your customer and even send a tracking number and so you don't need to go there manually and do all these things and it's only possible if you set up your account correctly in this video i'm going to be showing you everything you need to know in order for you to be able to set up your account to connect everything the right way if you don't yet have an etsy store or a printifier store i'll have the links down below so if you use my etsy link down below you are going to have 40 free listing this is an amazing way for anybody to be able to start their own business for free so you are going to have 40 free listing that you can use to start your business and you can follow the video that i already did in order for you to be able to set up your account the right way after you've created your printifier and you have created your etsy account by following the previous video then i'm going to show you in this video how to connect everything so that your business is going to run smoothly so now that we are in printifier printifier is right here i want you to come here this drop down arrow and you see this place here right here my etsy store is already connected but then if you don't have yours connected you just come here you say add a new store and then you click here it's going to open all these different different shops here you can connect etsy you can connect walmart you can connect any of these shops. you can connect weeks so let's say we are doing etsy you just click here and then you are going to connect your etsy so it will ask you now to log in into your etsy account so by this time you've already created your etsy account by using my link down below so that you will have 40 free listing so then now you open you sign in in your etsy shop and then you'll be able to put your email address here and one thing that i want you to know is that whenever you are starting a new business it's just good to create a new google account that is related to that business so put the name of your business so that it will be new so that when you start emailing customers they will see the name of that business so just make sure that you've created a new email address for your business and then you go ahead you put that information here and then you log in so when you log in your printifier is now going to connect to your etsy shop so after you've done that the next thing i want you to do is to come here and then you just come to this place that says manage my store and then you click here so now when it comes to this place manage my store so this is a new account i set up to be able to show you this step by step since we are doing etsy i want you to come here and just click here on settings so when you click there it's going to open this page for you so it says here that my etsy store what i want you to do here is to write the exact name of your store that you want your customers to see so when somebody buys your product this is a name that is going to be printed on your product so make sure that it's a name that you want your customers to actually see so after you put it here you just come here and then you click save so the next thing i want you to do is to go to the next one that says ship from address you click on this it's going to show you it's going to show you this information here i always just leave mine here on printifier because i don't want to because i don't want customers to have my address but if you have a business address and you want to show that then you just come here and then you put a custom address for your business address here or whatever you want your customers to see but i personally just leave mine here after you do that you just make sure you save and then you come to the next one which is other settings i want you to pay special attention to this because it is very important other routing just mean that if the product is not available it's going to be routed to another provider so what happens is that printifier is just a business printifier is just like a warehouse that has many print providers from many different places and so you as an individual or you as somebody who sells on etsy you might have your preferences like i have my preferences i have those i like to fulfill my orders with there are some that i really like some i really don't like and so what happens is that if a customer buys your product and maybe that particular company that you have listed your product with is maybe is maybe out of stock what will happen is that if you have this other routing tick then printifier will automatically route it to another print provider and this person now will provide will just print that and ship to your customer and maybe the quality is not the kind of quality that you actually want so that's a disadvantage the worst thing that happens is if you are having things like for couples right you are having t-shirt for couples you want them to have the same product but if for example the female 
own is available and the male's own is not available then printifier is going to print the female own that is available with a particular print provider that you have chosen but then the one that is not available they'll route it to another print provider and then assuming that that one was not the quality that you wanted the man will receive a different quality and the woman will receive a different quality and the interesting thing is that since there are different people printing it and sending then the products are going to come at different times so that's one thing that makes me not to choose this i personally don't have this on and so i always go there myself and manually choose this option so what happens is that if somebody orders a product and it's out of stock i'm going to have a red button showing me that there is an order that is out of stock then i'll manually Manually go in and choose another supplier to be able to print that product and then ship it to my customer I hope it's clear I know that was too much information and so if printifier have to do it for you you don't have the choice you don't you don't make any decision who they should route it to and so they route it to anyone so if you screw down the next thing that we have here is order approver this one is so good because it makes everything just automated for you you can either come here and choose it manually i go with this one and then i provide a set time after all the customers have already ordered the product then printifier will send just one big shipment at the end of the day so they are just going to withdraw one amount of money from my card and everything just goes together this helps me to just automate my business i don't have to go there manually when somebody places an order everything just happens automatically so the next one is talking about tracking notification i have this one receive as soon as available so immediately it's available i'm going to receive the tracking notification and then delay orders this one if if something is out of stock or something is happening and there is a delay with your order immediately everything is fixed i just have this one tick automatically so that they will automatically just set everything up and then the product will be printed and sent to my customer for this one it just depends on you if you want to receive updates daily then you just tick it here and then you save everything and continue after you've saved that the next thing i want us to do is that there used to be a button here but printifier has moved it here so you come down to this part that says account you just click here on this account and then you go to my account so when you come here it's going to provide information for you regarding your business this is just regarding invoices so you are going to put in your address it's not anything dealing with your customer it's just you and printifier so you are going to put in your address and then you fill in all the information that is needed here the next thing i want you to do is to come here to this place that says wallet you click on it and then you come here to this one that says payment and now you have a number of options here you can put your paper information here or you put your pioneer information here or you put your credit card information here anyone that works best for you you just put it here so the card information that you have here is what printifier will be able to use so when they are printing any product they are going to remove the money from this card you can use either your debit card or credit card here but some people prefer to use their credit card because when you use credit card then you can get some bonuses and when you use those bonuses you can save up that money and use it for other things the next thing we have here is billing currency just make sure you put your currency wherever you are if you are in the us if you are in the uk any place where you are when you put the currency when customers are trying to buy your product wherever they are it's going to show them in the currency in the country where they are so but you just have to put your own currency wherever you are the next one here we have printifier premium so if you click here so per month you are going to be paying 29 dollars per month and if you buy it per year you are going to pay 25 dollars and the advantage of this is that when you have this premium when you have this premium the products that you are going to be buying you are going to have a cheaper price so it's going to sell for itself and when you have a premium subscription you are actually going to have a 20 percent discount for every product that you have on your website so when you come here you will see your transactions for the month and then you will see summary of invoices all the invoices for that month you are going to see the summary here you are going to see the invoice here per other invoice voice you are going to see it here withdraws you are going to see all that information here so if you set up all the things that i showed you in this video then your printifier store is set up to start running automatically i wish you all the best i pray that god will strengthen you so if this is your first time to see my face i just want to encourage you to subscribe and become a part of the family on this channel i show you how to make money i show you how to save money and i show you how to invest your money especially following the principles of the bible if this is something that interests you i'll encourage you to subscribe and become a part of the family so i just want to encourage you over commerce to put in all the effort you can just keep doing what you can just keep working hard keep pushing and you are going to see the result though the beginning might be tough 
the ending the latter days shall surely be great i wish you all the best keep working hard and i'll see you in the next video love you all so much bye bye it's been a while since we